we're looking for ultimate freedom. Ultimate freedom is beyond experience. We're looking for something that is going to be forever. Our natural birthright, complete freedom, complete happiness, complete bliss. Not bliss that comes and goes, bliss which is here all the time. So if you're looking for that, then you're not looking for an experience. An experience comes and goes. You experience it, it feels great, but then it goes. It's not there. That's not what we want. We want the real thing. I want my soulmate. I want my real soulmate. The one that doesn't leave me when I'm old. The one that doesn't leave me when she finds a younger, handsome, better, uh, newer model of me. The one that doesn't leave me because I'm broke. The one who doesn't leave me because I'm sick. I want the one who's going to be with me forever. I want the real thing. The one that is always going to be here. So... Turn your attention inwards. Find her here. And you're going to find love. You're going to see that at any moment in your life that you stop, you stop the madness. You stop running around the chase. You stop. You get quiet. Boom. Explosion. Love. <sighs> oh my God. Tears starts running down. Love comes and you're just in deep love affair. And it's always with you anywhere. And it's not only if you went on that vacation to Caribbean islands. You're in this beautiful, surreal area and you feel, you know, you're sitting on your armchair by the beach. You have your margarita or strawberry daiquiri and everything. You're watching the sunset and you're feeling good. But that's conditional. I'm talking about you are in the worst traffic jam ever. You're driving your car, you're stuck in the car for three hours, and you're in this really bad traffic jam, and you're completely blissed out. Tears falling down because you feel the love of God in you. And you don't care you're in a traffic jam. You can be there for five hours because you're blissed out. That's what I'm talking about. It's not conditional. It's unconditional. And it's possible, it's possible, you can arrive there, you can do it. But let me clear this, this is not a self-empowerment course that I'm teaching you. Let's not make a mistake here. I'm directing you to your inner self. This is not about teaching you to create a system so you can get the things you want. I'm not teaching that. I'm not teaching you that you can go and manifest all these different things in the world to find a new love and to find more money and da 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 da. I'm not teaching that. I'm teaching you, I'm helping you, I'm guiding you to discover your real lover, the presence of God inside yourself that is always in you. And it's alive, it's vibrant, the pulse is here. And by noticing that part inside you, you're going to live a free life that you feel love every moment in your life constantly. And in that point, you don't care about manifesting things because you discovered love inside you and existence will give you 
whatever you need. It will be presented to you always. Not whatever you want, whatever you need, existence will serve it to you. Because you discovered Her Majesty within yourself. You know who you are. And you've become a queen. You've become a king. You're no longer a beggar. Trying to manifest this, manifest that, asking universe to give you another car, and that's a beggar. That's a modern beggar. You're a homeless on the street begging people to give you a dollar or two. You're begging. That's a beggar. It's a needy beggar. Begging always for something. We don't want to be beggars. You're a king. You're a queen. Remember who you are. Stop begging. Stop begging by discovering who you are. You never have to beg because existence will serve you. That's a good deal. Okay, I have some uh, messages. Yes, Hassan, thank you. I saw, I read your post. I appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Okay, questions for Z. <laughs> I understand and experience the observer, the presence, and etc. How to experience this on a more permanent and stable basis, freedom as you express? Okay, uh, Breda. Uh, the way, you, you, well, you have to start with the first, first thing first. If you understand the observer, and the presence, then bring your attention on the observer and keep your attention there. So now you understand what I say intellectually, but you have to put it to practice. Do this for a month or for a few weeks and then come back at my academy or at my workshop, Ascension to Fifth Dimension, or at the academy, which is a free service, and then we talk about it. But practice it first. Intellectually, you're understanding it right now, which is great. But now you need to put it to practice. 